hello guys in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to create this globe map animation right here and this animation was actually inspired by a friend whom i met through youtube here he's a great map animator and also a documentary style video editor and he has great works you can check out his channel or his page on instagram here so to create this animation you're going to need geolayers and vco plugin the vco plugin is free it's it was created by video copilot and i also made a tutorial on how to install it so i'll link it in the description below so let's get into it so once you've launched geolayers go down to the sample project and scroll down till you find globe then click on the globe map to download it so we're going to be using 1920 by 1080 so i'll click on the second one here to open this up so once your geolayer is done loading up, the first thing we need to do is to clean out the project. So before we go further, this animation you're seeing right here is an extended version of this tutorial that will be uploading on my Patreon page or buy me a coffee. So if you want to support me, please head over to Patreon or buy me a coffee and watch the tutorial, the, the extended version of this tutorial. I'll also be uploading the entire project file for you to on Patreon or buy me a coffee. So thank you. So to do this, click on your texture, come here, and this will bring you all to the VCO first. Let's go down to the VCO, come here first. Then we're going to delete these no layers here, Tehran and Berlin, and they are no layer. So just click that and delete it. Then unlock this and delete the stars in the background. I don't want it. If you want it, you can keep it. So I'll just unlock that and delete it. Then click on VCO and go to your effects control and scroll down and delete call shine and also fade shine so now we have deleted the glow ball around it so i'm just going to set this to auto so that my project loads a bit faster because my system is kind of crappy so the next thing you're going to do is that you're going to go to o1 texture here this right here and you're going to delete this this texture map here so i'm just going to select both of that and delete it and first again we'll go back to our up plugin click on this control here press u on your keyboard to bring up this keyframe here then select everything and remove the previous keyframes then i'll go down to my render comp here and i'll delete this four color gradient i don't need it just delete that then now we are good to go so the next thing i'm going to do here is that i'm going to go down to texture spherical then unlock this then go down to click here to go down to the texture double click on this to open this up here then i'm going to search for iran then i'm going to select a solid color a fill color and make sure you uh, you toggle this on inside map com then you can pick you can change the color anytime you want then draw and click on draw and this will draw iran so i'll do this for russia and also for china So next i'm going to make china here i'm just going to make it a darker shade of red something dark like this then make russia green then make iran blue then select all the ship and change their mode to multiply so they blends with the, with the layer like this next i will click here and add a new adjustment layer then bring it below our our map layer here then i'm just going to add a tint effect to the adjustment layer here and our map will become black and white and why this is affecting the map is that there are some layers that have been shied away some of the tiles for the map this map here these are the tiles here so i have imported and the russian coat of arm and iran's emblem so i'm just going to zoom in here and place them on each map i'm just going to bring this here and it's pretty big so i'm just going to scale this down then i'm going to add a fill effect a fill and make the fill white because it's black then i'm going to do the same for for russia scale it down so next i'm going to add a bit of a shadow to the 
emblem here or the coat of arm to give it a big 3d look so before i do that i'm just going to change the color of this blue it's a bit too bright so i just make it a lighter shade of blue like this i think this is okay so next i'm going to duplicate this emblem here then i'm just going to turn off the top one here then add a drop shadow effect to this then delete the fill for this layer make it shadow only i'm going to make the opacity 65 change the direction to 140 the distance to 60 and the softness to 3 now let me refresh for you to see now we have this shadow so let me turn the top one on now you see that we have a bit of a shadow beneath our main layer so let's see it with without the shadow and with the shadow now it looks a bit like 3d so i'll just copy i'll do the same thing for for the russian coat of arm and copy the effect from this one here and paste it here so you might need to because they are not the same size you might need to do the distance and the and the direction so click on your pen to make sure the fill is turned off and set the stroke to four pixels so we're just going to draw a stroke from here to this place so i'm just going to click here sorry click and hold it to bring out these basic handles then i'll click somewhere here like this like this like this like this, like this. so this is okay i'll rename this iran to russia then i'm going to go down to the content here then duplicate this shape here this shape one here then i'm going to turn off the shape one go down to my selection tool then click on this part go, make sure you're clicking on this part then with the selection tool, you just highlight this top part here then i'll just slowly bring this down to this position here and that's okay then do the same thing duplicate and do the same thing i'll turn this off again and now when i turn back everything on you see that we have different shapes across so i'm just going to highlight this one again and move it up a bit then next i'm going to bring this below all of our coat of armor and emblem here like this and this is what we have here then the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to add a trim part to this so just click on this drop down here go to add and add trim part make sure the trim part is added to the whole layer and not to one shape only so go down to your trim part at the beginning here set a keyframe and maybe go for the bit like maybe two seconds or so and okay bring this here then go back to the beginning of your timeline and make the end point zero like this so we have a nice animation so next i'm going to duplicate this iran to russia here by pressing ctrl d then rename this to iran to russia dot then i'm just going to turn this off for now then go down to the content here in shape 3 i'm going to go down to the stroke and click on this plus icon here for the dash click it click on it twice to bring up this two and i'm going to make this two make the gap 60 then change the line cap to round cap instead of bot cap then make the ps size 10 now you can see we have this stroke here so next we need to animate this at the beginning of our timeline here i'll make i'll set the keyframe for the offset then we go like 10 seconds forward and i'll make this like 275 now you see that we have this stroke here it will animate so next what i'm going to do is that i'm going to copy this stroke here press ctrl c for windows then go down to shape 2 go down to the stroke make sure you click on the stroke and press ctrl v to paste that and you see we have the same thing do the same thing for shape one replace them and mm, i forgot something go back make sure your keyframe and your timeline your timeline indicator is at the beginning before you paste that so that it, ma it matches what we have or if you don't want it to match then you can do that but make sure it's at the beginning of your timeline here so that the keyframe matches the same so i'll just turn back my 
other layer on so that you see what we have and i'll play this back for you to see what we have here So to animate this, we'll go to our VCO plugin here. So next we'll use our control, make sure you're in the control panel here and we'll move our timeline here to where we want the animation to start. So move this down, we'll zoom into China like this. So set a keyframe here, use this to set a keyframe. Then I'll just hit you here and I'll remove pitch and bearing because we won't be needing that. We don't need to remove it though. But I'm just doing that. So once you set the keyframe, I'll go down to one second forward. Then I'll move my view to around Iran. Know that this is in half mode, so my timeline isn't very clear. So automatically keyframe will be set here. So next i'll go down to maybe like three seconds forward then zoom out a bit and move this so that russia comes in view let me move this out and now we have a neat a little nice animation a globe map animation so you can tweak this to whichever form you want and i'll play this back for you to see what we have here and before i play this back i'll go down i'll go back to the texture and this stroke here i'm going to move them down to maybe one second or so then the russia and the i'll move this emblem there too so that they animate once it comes in view Move the Russia forward. So I'll go back to my VCO plugin and play this back for you to see what we have here. 